Should you be using WordPress for your website? Find out on this video. Hey everybody, what's up? Hernan Vasquez here. I'm trying new intros as you can see and if you like the previous one, just drop me a thumbs up. If you didn't, drop me a thumbs up anyways, okay? I would really appreciate that. Drop me a comment below as well. Thank you guys for the amazing amount of support, the comments, the views, everything. The channel is growing step by step, which is a great thing, um, you know, because again, I just want to share a ton of value on this channel. Now, on this particular uh, video, I want to address those people that are kind of insecure about which kind of CMS or platform, CMS stands for Content Management System, or platform should they be using for their website? Should I use HTML? Should I use Drupal? Should I use Joomla? Should I go for WordPress? And if so, what happens is if I already have a website that is on HTML or as on Shopify, Magento, whatever platform you have on your website, and you want to start reaping the benefits of WordPress. So that's exactly what I want to address today. Now, what I like about WordPress is first off, you know, WordPress is like, I think 43% of, of the entire amount of websites out there right now in the world are WordPress based, which is mind blowing, okay? So PVN footprints, hello, there's no footprint, 43% of the people out there are using WordPress, okay? So do not worry about that. Uh, I would still, you know, suggest that you vary your PVN CMS, but that's for another <laughs> video. Now, what I'm trying to say here is that WordPress has been gaining, you know, it, it has been going through the roof when it comes to um, development, you know, the different things that you can do with WordPress security. I know that for the geeks out there, WordPress is probably not the most secure um, platform, but it's the you know, it's the one size fits all or the most overall um, highest core out there. And this is what I mean. WordPress, you do not need to be a technical person to install a WordPress blog. I am not a technical person. I do not have a technical background and I still manage to design websites, okay? Talking about in a generous word. But the point here is that uh, it's super easy, super intuitive. You know, it's for the VC guy and it's for the guy that wants to go under the hood and start tweaking PHP and whatnot. Now, the second good thing about WordPress and why I like it a lot is that there's a huge community of developers and there's a huge pool of different plugins, uh, automations, you know, it integrates with pretty much everything. So, you know, you do not need to worry about support pretty much. Being an open, open source, there's kind of official WordPress support, but the main guest of WordPress support is the community of users. And 43% of the, of, of the websites out there, you know, it's kind of crazy. You will definitely, you know, get support for some, from somebody, even if it's a friend. And step number three and why I love WordPress is the ability of being super, super SEO friendly. You do not need to be an SEO consultant or even hire an SEO agency to, you know, optimize your uh, website for your WordPress website for SEO. Instead, I have an article. In fact, I have an article where I go through the plugins that I use for SEO and WordPress, the plugins that I use for loading speed. And, you know, there's a bunch of things that I teach about on my YouTube channel. And in particular, I have a, a video that I made on how to SEO to optimize your articles like a professional. So that's gonna be in the description below. So the question is, what happens if I already have a domain and, or, 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 or even better, if I get a client that has a, a, a domain in any other platform? You know, if I already have a website that it's on HTML or Magento, and how do, you, do I start reaping the benefits of WordPress? The simple answer would be to install WordPress on a subdomain that could be blog.yourdomain.com and start using that as your blogging platform. You can also install WordPress on a subfolder like yourdomain.com forward slash blog. But you know, I love doing subdomains. Subdomains have, uh, have a long way in terms of SEO benefits, some advanced things that you can do 
uh, with subdomains that I talk, you know, that we talk about on Semantic Mastery Mastermind or Hamday Hangouts, for example. But the main point here is that I love doing subdomains and you can install WordPress on a subdomain and start posting there. You will uh, optimize that blog for SEO. You can use IFTTT syndication to syndicate to social media or something like Jetpack, which is a free plugin that comes pre-installed with WordPress to auto share your posts into social media. There's a bunch of things that you can do. Um, I hopefully soon I will uh, develop or I will give you guys a step-by-step -step how to install a WordPress website on your hosting provider. Uh, hopefully I'll get that done soon. But in the meantime, there's a ton of tutorials out there that will show you how to do that. And the truth, that, the truth is that if you are not sure about that, if you're not sure about the platform, if you're gonna love it, just go to wordpress.com and open a free blog, okay? If you have like zero experience with WordPress, you can test drive it with limited features, of course, on wordpress.com. Just go to wordpress.com, open a free blog, and you can test drive it there. You can see the platform, see if it fits you, see if, it, if you like it, and see the whole possibilities, with, again, with limited uh, features that a self-hosted WordPress will have, okay? And again, if you already have a website in HTML, PHP, any other platform, Drupal, Joomla, whatever, you can install WordPress on a subdomain and you will be rocking and hitting the ground running because again, guys, once you switch to WordPress, you never go back. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever, just drop them in the comments below. Please try to be specific. Do not tell me, hey, I cannot install WordPress on my, on my server. Uh, can you help? because that's usually quite broad, you know, and uh, potentially I won't be able to help you. But that being said, tell me how do you go about with your WordPress installations? What do you do? Um, how do you manage them? I would love to know your comments and your feedback on these. And again, use WordPress because that's like 43% of the entirety of the web. It's kind of big. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.